Okay, Florida Explorer here. Um, we are at a very interesting, unique historical site. I'm pretty sure, due to its significance, that there isn't or that there aren't any um, anything lying, any ruins, anything lying about. I'm sure this place has been pretty much picked dry, I would imagine. Uh, but, and you wouldn't even know what this was if you hadn't done research on it. But, um, that's a knife blade. Wow. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not from the, from the war, but this is the Withlacoochee Army Air Force uh, landing strip airport. Um, seen pictures of this site. They had uh, they flew P P 51s out of here. I don't know necessarily if this is big or long enough for um, for B 25s or anything like that. Certainly not for B 17s. Uh, but well, you know, again, we did some research on it. Uh, see pictures of it and um, this is it this is where it was uh, this is we're standing right on it apparently it was paved which means there must be pavement under here or that somebody ripped it all up uh, don't know either way the answer to those questions but um, again I, I can't imagine there'd be any type of artifacts out here It'd be cool to roll up on a, you know, a, a drop tank or a ammo belt or something like that, but not not much chance of that. But um, but that, you know, being being the case, even so, this is a significant find. This is a significant uh, location. This was where in, in World War, and this was World War II, obviously. Um, is where they had one of their major landing strips for, for this area of this state. Um, these things dotted the landscape. Florida, of course, because it had the largest coastline during World War II, um, had the, the probably the highest concentration of uh, servicemen, army, soldiers, sailors, etc. Stationed here because of you know the threat of invasion or, or the vulnerability coastlines are vulnerable This would have been a Florida would have been a highly vulnerable area. So um, in fact, I'm pretty sure the saboteurs that they executed in 42. I think it was or maybe 43 I'm pretty sure they Landed in Miami Or somewhere down that way, so um, we just have so much area where people could, you know, infiltrate, as we've seen for many years over the drug, you know, during the drug trade and things like that. Um, so there are a lot of these places like this around, and this is one of them. And for this area, this was the one. So it's pretty cool find, and uh, we're gonna look around again. Not much hope of finding anything significant as far as artifacts are concerned but who knows we'll try it's a nice nice day out for a walk so I'm sure back over in all of this area over here there would have been all kind of support vehicles and structures and things like that there has to be something somewhere some sort of foundation they wouldn't have been able to hold the, the fuel tanks on on sand it would have had to have been some sort of concrete so we'll check it out and see what we can find we are out.